Hi, I'm Catello. I'm a 3D designer from Italy. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I manage and prepare my UVs inside of Marvelous Designer before exporting them in order to use them inside of Cinema 4D and Octane. Let's get started. So here we are inside of Marvelous Designer with a really simple t-shirt plus pen setup and how things work in terms of UV and selection tag inside of Marvelous Designer is really simple and really straightforward. Basically, when we want to export this whole mesh here, and let's say, for example, we want to retain a different selection tag and uh, with the specific UV for the uh, t-shirt and for the pants, we need to have two different material. So for example, we can copy this and name this t-shirt. And name this pant. At this stage, it doesn't matter whatever color we are assigning to, but let's say we want to be able to have the pants now inside of uh, a Marvel's designer in this gray. So we can either select the sewing pattern and go here on to fabric and click pants or much easier go here and assign this material we need to move to the front text red surface i was into this monochrome surface preview and there's also like a, a mesh based so we can see the mesh here and other different kinds of visualization we have already here on our t-shirts now. Let's say we want the, for now to be this color here. And now once we have imported this mesh inside of cinema, we will have a selection tag for this and a different selection tag for this. And we will be able to assign procedural material or a simple diffuse one or whatever we want to do. And this is really, really, really handy and basic things to do before exporting anything from Marvel's designer, in my opinion. But there's more because we can go to the UV editor. We will be actually able to create and control better our UV. And every square from zero to infinity will have its own UV set and will correspond to a separate UV set. So for example, if we place the, the UV island for the pants here and the ones for the shirts here, once we have exported this, we will have a texture for the pants and a texture for the shirts. It will not matter if we are using only the uh, UV sets and we are going to use procedural materials so no proper image texture but it will matter if we are going to use a uh, proper texturing method or if if we want to texture it inside of, uh, of a substance painter or we want to add a little piece of text here just by doing it in Photoshop or whatever so if we want to texture these garments in a proper way. We just need to place the this pattern sewing on or multiple squares. It really depends on uh, how you want to manage this. I usually try to cram as much as possible in uh, one square. If I know that, for example, I want to, let's say, focus more on the shirt because I already know that I want to have a huge normal map inside uh, of these patterns or or I just don't care at all for the pants because I already know that I want to just assign a quick procedural material inside of Octane. I just, I can just make this really tiny and use the whole space here 
to manage these pieces right here. Generally speaking, I try to maximize the, the, the use of space inside uh, one square only and I move from two or maybe even three different UV set only if I have a huge amount of garments or if I already know that I can go for example to 8k texture because here as you can see you can export this amount of pixel so if I know that time need much more detail than what uh, combined UV sets can give me with this amount of pixel I'd go with uh, two or three UV sets but generally speaking I tend to stay inside of uh, one UV set only So I try to maximize the use of space here and with this kind of uh, UV set we will have the least amount of wasted pixel per se because the pixel that are here and here are not going to be much useful info for the materials we are going to build. And speaking of building material we can go back to our simulation tab and we can either use the default marvelous fabric materials and texture from the library or we can import our own diffuse texture and our own normal map to the material up here so for example we can select the issued material go into normal map and add a custom cotton normal map that will be placed here we can also change color try to see this better and just for visualization purpose we can try to match by moving this to shiny or silk satin try to match the outcome we have in mind so we can scale because we can also scale and move by going on into transformation and normal map And then we can export the whole mesh and retain this placement of normal map. And these are my export setting. I tend to export everything as a single object, but you can go for multiple object. It will just basically split every piece of garment in its own mesh on a different object so i go usually again for a single object make sure to have tick selected otherwise it will just export a thin single mesh maximum resolution that now marvelous designers allows me and i export generally only the normal map and then i work on the colors later inside of octane but for this tutorial purpose i can show you how the diffuse maps looks like and this is how the textures looks like once exported again nothing to see for now on the diffuse channel but we can already see that we have 
8K texture for the pants and for the shirt. And we can also see that we have this nice beveled normal edge that are basically what we can also customize here if we go on edit sewing. We can, for example, make the thickness of the seam line more pronounced, wider. And this will basically add really nice details once we are starting to build our own material inside of Cinema 4D, for example. You can also place 2D graphics with the graphics to the pattern tool, selecting a texture or a stamp. And we can export it like this or our I usually do, I black out everything into the diffuse channel, into the color channel. So every piece of uh, 2D graphic I have can also work as an opacity map or drive different colors within a mix node, for example, so I can set up uh, all the all the pixels that are black to be shown as red and all the pixels that are white to be shown as blue. So I'll have easily a mixed materials with this in the node and I will have a blue logo on a red shirt, basically. So we can again Export, selected. And this is what the textures looks like now. So the logo is placed already in the correct spot. And we have here more pronounced seam line, 3D seam line. And this is how it looks inside of Cinema 4D and Octane. As you can see, we have two different selection tag for both the pants and the t-shirt and that's because we assigned two different materials inside of uh, Marvelous Designer. As you can see here, we have this nice normal map straight from Marvelous Designer that is affecting the sewing pattern here on the sewing line. And with this resolution on the texture, it can also work for some kind of close-up shots if they are not too zoomed in. A really simple way to prep your OV and materials before exporting from Marvelous Designer. And it can give you a huge degree of versatility in terms of pushing your materials further within your preferred software and your preferred render engine. And yeah, that's basically it. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay tuned for new videos. I'll see you in the next one.